Charlotte Motor Speedway and Bruton Smith has been on the edge of innovation as long as we can remember. From lights to events to pre-race shows, Charlotte always pushed the envelope. Nothing done at the Speedway, though, created more buzz than the Roval. Tons of skeptics, tons of unknowns, and NASCAR, they put it as a cut race in the NASCAR playoffs. Not only did it deliver an amazing finish and great storylines, I think it delivered confidence to the entire NASCAR world. New things could be tried. Now we have multiple road courses all across the country. And when you look back, I believe it all started that day at the Roval. Truex gets tagged! Oh, It'll be a fight for the finish line! Let's take a look in reverse at the inaugural Roval from Charlotte Motor Speedway. Ryan Blaney will survive and win the Bank of America Roval 400. Here we go, history in the making at Charlotte Motor Speedway, the Roval 400. All right, gang, an exciting day here today. First Roval race. 16 playoff drivers entered this race. 12 would leave for a chance at a championship. Fans are on the feet. Green flag in the air. We're racing at the Roval. The green flag fell. The pressure built. Lap after lap, stage after stage. Pushing, shoving, beating, banging all day long. Who was on the cut line? Who was above and who was below? Alex Bowman, Jimmy Johnson, Eric Almirola, Ryan Blaney, Clint Boyer. Time after time, the names moved around. As the laps wind down and the pressure of the playoffs build, the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. brings out the caution. Caution comes right out damage. now, and what will that change? Heavy right side damage. Stacking up the field for a sprint to the finish. As I stood above the track in the NBC booth, I watched Brad Keselowski and Kyle Larson bring the field into the restart zone. Keselowski on the inside, Larson on the outside, back up through the gears they go. And straight into the barrier goes Brad Keselowski. Miss Keselowski misses turn one and four, five, six cars pile in. I was shocked, I was speechless. It looked like a video game, like his controller disconnected. Had no grip, overdrove it, my fault. A huge pileup that would change the complexion of not only the race, but the playoffs. The 42 of Kyle Larson, a team that thought they were well above the cut line, were now in jeopardy of being eliminated. The 10 of Eric Amarola, around the cut line all day, has to pit, takes tires. He now has to have the overtime run of his life to find enough points to continue. And what about the seven-time champ, Jimmy Johnson? Looking to turn around his season, he will line up on the front row with Martin Truex Jr. for this overtime race. 12 points to the good, best we can figure with the way everything crumbled out. Will Jimmy Johnson snap the 51 race, winless streak? Three laps to go from the Charlotte Roval. The green flag flies and the battle between Truex and Jimmy is heated, but Truex takes command. Jimmy though, inch by inch, makes a run. Yeah, so 48's only seven points to the good, so he may he's not there. afford it, but look, he's there. What a great corner. Here they come. As the two cars climb the banking in three and four, coming to the checkered flag, Jimmy Johnson with a big run. Here he, comes Jimmy Johnson. Oh! Locks the brakes up. Oh, he's And he's going to slide. He slides through the middle. Truex gets oh, tagged. Truex got... Now, hey, it'll be a fight here. for the finish line. Moves to the side of the 78. The 78 blocks. Jimmy loses control, spins out, and collects Martin Truex Jr. And through the smoke, Ryan Blaney the winner. Ryan Blaney in the 12 will win! Oh, that was awesome. Jimmy does everything he can. He has to serve a penalty, stops in the right spot, accelerates across the start finish line to finish in eight. Would it be enough? Standing in the booth, the calculators were flying. We couldn't figure out the points. Who was where? As the dust settled, a tie. A three-way tie. Jimmy Johnson, Kyle Larson, Eric Amarola. Two would advance, one would be eliminated. Eric Amarola puts on the drive of his life, working his way all the way back up to 17. The 42 of Kyle Larson, a ratchet strap used to keep the front suspension together so he could finish the race. And what a finish it was. Drop the ramp, drive off the ramp. Kyle Larson drives his car off the wall. It won't steer, he has no control, but he passes the 96 car to the line to score that all important single point he needs to tie his competitors. And how about Jimmy Johnson? He could have just finished second, but he didn't. This isn't about the playoffs, remember, Jimmy Johnson is in a winless streak. Chad and Jimmy, they want another shot at victory lane together. 
It goes to best finish. Kyle Larson, second at Vegas. Eric Amarola, a fifth at Richmond. That spin cost Jimmy Johnson his shot as he would be the driver eliminated. This race, very anticipated. No one knew what to expect and it delivered, both in excitement and storylines. Jimmy Johnson going for the win. He would never win again in his career. Heading into the weekend, everyone was confident the Roval would be the story, the track, the circuit, the curbs. No one would have guessed that leaving a desperate last corner move by a seven-time champion that turned the playoffs upside down would be the headline. Road courses, they became the fans' favorite. And NASCAR delivered. Six road courses now show up on the NASCAR schedule. And the Roval, it's still there. Another cut race in the NASCAR playoffs.